Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another Christmas video in my Christmas series. I'm going to be using Pink and Main's Christmas mugs. I've used it in one other video and I thought we'd do a little more traditional take on colors for it this time. So I have picked a couple different um, paper pads with some coordinated papers and I have done all of my trimming off screen and here I'm just kind of laying out what it will look like my idea for the papers mugs on top that holly leaf pattern in the middle and then the plaid on the bottom I thought that those uh, coordinated really well together and were definitely traditional colors so I did all of my die cutting off screen using some pierced rectangles from I believe MFT and here I am stamping the Christmas mug in ink on three blackout ink on some Nina solar white 80 pound cardstock. My Copic coloring is fairly simple for this. I used my E40 family for the foam cream whip topping, whatever it is on top of this mug. It just makes me want hot cocoa. And then I used some greens here on the trees, YG21, YG25, and of course my favorite Copic marker, YG17. I did add a G28 in for some additional dimension. Sometimes um, that fourth marker is absolutely necessary, in my opinion. So here I used a red combination. R24 is more of a tomato-y red, but it is my lightest color here. I'm um, using the R24, R29, uh, R89 combination, and just getting the, the dimension in the mug. I didn't want to oversaturate my paper with my reds because reds do bleed. Um, but I wanted to get some good dimension and I think I achieved that here and I did color all of my mugs exactly the same so I added some E20s to the trunk of the one tree that you can see and then highlighted with my number 10 jelly roll pen so then each of these panels was adhered down to a coordinating black panel with the same pierced detail I can't believe I left all this in here. I probably didn't mean to. <laughs> you didn't need to see me do this over and over. Uh, I am still using that art glitter glue. I am finding that it does clog a little bit more the farther I get down in the bottle, but it is nothing that is, you know, too terrible. I just make sure I put that pin in a few more times. And oh, this is why I left this in because there was like a little tiny smudge that I had tried to kind of rub out with my colorless blender and I went over it with my um, white gel pen. It's still not gone, so I will show you what happens with that later. And then I'm using this pink in main dye here. I would I wanted like a little tab at the bottom, and I really like how the shape of this is. So I just die cut the edge of it a few times so that I could get kind of a little tab to put under each of those. And then I heat embossed the sentiment, which says "Have a Java Christmas" or java christmas to you or something like that java merry christmas it's something to do with coffee and christmas well <laughs> and then i used a white embossing powder java merry christmas it wasn't is what it says which is cute um so i um, heat embossed white on all of those and then i took the two outside panels for each of my um cards and i just taped them together with some um scotch tape or it's probably not even scotch tape because I'm cheap. It's it's probably just tape. <laughs> and then I lined everything up. I still hadn't quite decided how I wanted to introduce this little sentiment um, tab. And I wasn't sure. My original sketch in my little sketchbook, I have this image kind of at an angle. But I was still trying to decide if that's, if that's how I wanted to do this. So I was kind of playing around with it there. And I wanted to make sure that they were all the same. I like to do Christmas cards in sets of six. Uh, I feel like you can send cards to six people and they're not like, hey, I got the same card you did. So this is where I was like, well, there's that little spot. And I figured if I added a little bit of twine, which is not my go-to at all. Um, twine is kind of bulky in my opinion. And I just have a hard time using it um, but I added a little tiny bow and I did it on all of them and I kind of positioned that bow so it would cover that little spot on the one panel and it, it worked out fine if you didn't know that little spot was there you would not know that little spot was there because I covered it <laughs> 
So I put foam tape on the back of each of those panels because I wanted something popped up and it also helps kind of um, conceal the twine that's behind the panel so that it isn't a weird bump. I could kind of like uh, position it around. And here I was trying to decide how I was going to add this little tab first. Uh, if I was going to adhere it to that center strip, but they're not all lined up exactly because I just, you know, cut them out so that I knew I had the bottom part there. Um, so what I did is I adhered them all down, um, making sure that that like the point touched the bottom and um, the certain part of the loop touched the side of the panel. And then I put the center strip over the top. And I decided that I was going to add these Love for Lizzie, Love from Lizzie black peel offs here. And I do like how this finishes the edge. Not only are they black, but they are slick and shiny. So they add a different uh, texture to the um, card. The twine is like soft, and um, the, the, there's all the sharp edges from the layers. But the um, shiny adds a little bit more dimension. Uh, and so I did that to all of them and I adhered these down to the black panel before I put the um, main popped up image panel on here and I um, did as I always do and I add liquid adhesive over top of my foam tape. It just um, makes it so I can wiggle it around just a little bit and I trimmed the ends of my bows and I did that six times because we're making six cards here. So that is what my cards do look like, all six of them. They are the same, but handmade, so they're not perfect. So here's some close-up shots of these cards. I do appreciate you joining me for this Christmas card series. I hope to uh, have you along for the whole uh, entirety of it. Uh, if not, I hope you find some inspiration in whatever video you happen to watch. Here is all six in a shot. And as always, give cards generously.